What's up, Habs fans? It's Chuck Top Cheese Hughes, and I'm here with Lars Eller, and I'm going to teach him how to make a, a small seafood chowder, and maybe, hopefully, he can teach me a couple things on the ice. What do you think? We'll see about that. We'll see. Okay, cool. So, let's get started. Uh, first things first, so we're going to make um, kind of a, a seafood chowder. We're going to put a piece of fish on top. First thing we're going to do is the chowder is kind of like uh, there's steps. We could put everything in together and we would never get the same result. So you have to build the flavors. That's a big part of uh, cooking is really putting the things inside the pot at the right time to get the best out of every ingredient. So the first thing that we're going to want is bacon. So I have a nice big chunk of bacon here. All I'm going to do is I'll show you and then I'll let you do the other half. It's basically, it's, very, it's not very complicated, but we're looking for perfect little cubes. So as you see, when I'm cutting, I kind of protect my, my, uh, my fingers by almost touching the knife. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're kind of a guide so that I know if anything happens in the middle of the action, oh, you know, I'm cutting and somebody says, hey, Chuck, hey, watch out. I know my fingers are always protected. So you keep your thumb behind yeah. and you always use your fingers as a guide and you move along just like that. And then just slice this here. Get a little bit of heat on our pan. Beautiful. So my cubes are a little bigger than your yours. Your cubes are a little bigger, but uh, yeah. you know what? I'll accept it. I like big portions. Okay, I have my pans hot. And like I said, I want to throw in things in sequence to make sense. So fatty bacon, when it hits the pan, you hear the sizzle. Basically, this crab's already cooked. All I'm going to want you to do is take these scissors and we're, we're going to cheat a little bit here today. And all we want to do is get in there. Just like that, and we're gonna open it up and get the meat. So we, this has already been cooked, and all we want is just the inside like that. We've got our vegetables, we've got our bacon, you're working on the crab, and I'm gonna add some shallots as well. Technically, this is the first thing you learn in cooking school. So when you go to cooking school, the first day, they'll teach you how to cut an onion, and this is how you do it. So you hold it, so this you could do with an onion at home if you're doing a barbecue or whatever. Like that, you never go to the end so it still holds together. And then I make one cut here, one cut here, never going to the end so it all holds together. And then... See, so usually that uh, takes me about three, four minutes. Yeah, uh, this, right this there, is where... Uh, right there is where you can really... Uh, look. Yeah. I'm improving my hockey skills, you're improving your cooking skills. Yeah. It's a win-win. Now at this stage, we want to start adding the stuff that's going to take a little bit longer to cook, like these clams. Yeah. So the clams, they're still alive, they're closed. Uh, when you're buying them, obviously closed is the way to go. If they're open, uh, they're, they're no good, they're yeah. not fresh. So I'm going to add these in there, right on top like that. and. Our lobster, shrimp, and crab, because it's already cooked, I'm just gonna add it last At minute. The end. Yeah. You know, the flavor that we're getting here is from this broth that we made. Uh, we make it with dried seaweed, fish bones, everything that we have that's seafood related that's lying around, we make a stock. So, celery, carrot, onion, garlic, herbs, water, seaweed, uh, fish bones, lobster shells, whatever you want, and you let it go, kind of like we were doing with this stock. Uh, and uh, you reduce it and you have that great flavor. So this is flavorful. We got a lot of flavor developing here. I'm just gonna pour that in there. So I've got a nice piece of white fish. And first thing we wanna do is we always season it. Season it, yeah. Okay, salt. You always season it before you sear it. I always season it before I sear it. If I wanted to keep the fish white, maybe I would just put salt and I wouldn't put pepper. Uh, it all depends on what you want, you know what I mean? I always put salt and pepper and I want my pan nice and hot. Again, canola oil, no flavor, and it's, it's the best kind of oil if you want to sear. So you can see how hot that is. Yeah. Basic thing when you're searing a fish. You have your pan, you have a lot of hot oil, you want to drop it away from you. Because if I drop it this way, I'm going to splash oil and it's dangerous. When you're doing one piece of fish, 
over a weekend, not a big deal. But in a restaurant like this, when you're doing like 50 pieces of fish a day, so when you drop it, you want to drop it that way and be careful with your fingers. Yeah, exactly. Beautiful. So if we have our fish, and so it's looking good, you know, that's, that's, a, good, that's a good sear. I'm going to let it go still a little bit. I'm going to turn the heat down a, just a touch. I'm going to put a little bit of butter and I'm just going to finish it off in the oven like that. So we're going to plate it up. We have big pieces of lobster. Add in the broth. Put a little top of the chives at the end there. Oh, there we go. And there we have our Lars Eller seafood chowder. Guaranteed hat trick. <laughs> it's a guaranteed hat trick. So Lars, let's check it out here. Let's see if you're as good in the kitchen as you are on the ice. Mm. <laughs> and uh, don't forget, huh, you need to teach me too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. That's so, a deal. Here, I'll just break it right in half here. Give you a piece of the fish. Oh, fish looks really good. And a little bit of everything. Right on top. I think we're just gonna have to taste the broth inside this little thing here. There you go. Awesome. Yeah, the fish is good. It's fresh. It's light. It's you know, it's tasty. Like you can taste all everything. You can taste almost everything you, we put in it. You know, and uh, lots of meat and. You know, it's just my style. I think you I think you probably have to put this on the menu. Yeah, huh? Yeah. Next time you come, just ask for the Lars Eller special. Uh -huh. Yeah. And you know what? The bacon. The bacon, the bacon is does a lot. The perfection. Yeah. It's perfectly cut. Yeah. Really you did a good job. And the chives, wow. I never had uh, I don't think I never had bacon in seafood before, but now I, th that works. It really yeah, works. Huh? Yeah. You know, like I said, it's it's gonna give you a little bit of the fat. It's gonna give you a little bit of smokiness. And, and then when you eat it, you know, you, you get that kind of like that meaty kind of bite. Yeah. But. It goes so good with this. Mm. Yeah. And the broth is like, I mean, it's pretty, it's, it's, pretty good, It's huh? pretty good. Anyways, uh, thanks for coming. I'm happy you're enjoying and uh, looking forward to a little bit of ice time. Thank you, Chuck. Yeah. Sharpen my skates. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go teach Lars how to play hockey. <laughs> yeah, let's go to the rink now. Let's do it. All right.